everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. And this morning I would like to touch on a topic that probably everyone should be thinking about, and that is preparing for the fall canning season now. <clears throat> and um, the reason I say that, I mean, it's fairly obvious. Last year there was uh, a whole lot of new canners out there, and we certainly want to encourage you to uh, keep learning, keep, you know, bringing new people into the fold, teaching them these skills. It's a, a very uh, worthwhile skill to be learning. Um, but yes, there are a whole bunch of new canners and uh, the uh, companies who supply uh, stock for the canning industry were caught unawares and they didn't have enough stock. And there is to, to from what I've been hearing, there are still places that uh, are in short supply, so um, I, th I think that people should learn to prepare for the fall canning season ahead of time. Uh, I myself have always done that, uh, mostly because I think I could not, not afford to put out the big outlay all at once for the uh, supplies. Um, you, you know, it's, sometimes it's enough when you have to buy the the food that you're going to can and uh, if you have to buy all the supplies and all the equipment. So I buy a little bit every year and build up my stock, whether it was a, a canner, whether it was a, a special tool like my tomato machine, my tomato puree machine, or uh, you know any tool that you're going to use, a, a sausage uh, grinder, we have those. We have one of those, uh, although we don't make sausages for uh, for a reason now, but uh, I'm sure we'd love to do that again. Um, but yes, if you buy uh, your supplies on an ongoing basis, it makes it a whole lot easier. You don't feel the pinch in the season, for one thing. And the second thing is that you're more than likely to find the supplies that you need when you buy them, when you when they're there, when you see them. Uh, you know, today, I can go into a Walmart today and I can find uh, canning jars. I couldn't uh, a while back. Now, it, we also have another issue here in that we have uh, lockdowns. They seem to lock down the whole uh, province and keep it locked down for a month or two. and. Uh, the only stores that were open were Walmart and uh, Dollarama, and because they sell some food, they allowed those stores to open. And uh, of course, grocery stores, any any place that sold food was allowed to stay open. But your uh, hardware stores, where you would get your other supplies, um, were not allowed to open. And. Um, I mean, I personally would buy my canning supplies from a hardware store, either from Canadian Tire or Home Hardware. Uh, would get better deals from the Home Hardware. And Dollarama is where I would buy canning lids, so that wasn't an issue. Uh, now, of course, if you're a, a seasoned canner, you pretty much know what your needs are. You pretty much know uh, what you'll be canning this year and what you may have canned last year that you have enough of that you will not be like I probably will not be canning tomatoes again this year because I did so many last year but the year before that I did a lot of corn so I didn't do any corn last year I'll probably can corn this year though so but a, a new canner probably needs to assess what they plan to do um, and, and my recommendation there would be first to determine what foods your family eats. If you don't determine, I mean, if you don't can what they eat, what you make is just going to sit on the shelves, and that's both a waste of your energy, your money, and your time, and and it's a shame. I mean, we all can things that, that you know, we may not can in the future, and there is a bit of a learning curve. But try to start off with uh, what your family will eat, and you want to determine what, I mean, your, the size of your family, whether you need pint jars for single serving meals or whether you're going to do, fam, port, you, whether you need quart jars to do a family uh, size um, preparation of, of something. 
So determine what your needs are. Determine what size jars you need and then look for, uh, even if you just buy a case when you're out shopping, you know, you find a case of pint jars, yes, buy it. If Buy it now and build up your stock slowly. Uh, go to, when you find uh, a packet or two of canning lids, buy an extra packet or two at a time. Don't wait till the end of the season when everybody uh, is going to buy up all the stock that's on the shelves and when you want something there'll be nothing there. Uh, it happened last year, there's, there's potential for that to occur again this year. Even if the suppliers uh, have a better idea of how much stock they uh, should make and how much they should turn around, um, <laughs> people are um, people will create a shortage. Um, last week I was in Dollarama and uh, there was this one young lady who literally bought up every single regular size canning lid that that store had in stock and they had two cases at least and there had to be at least a hundred boxes of uh, 12. So that's quite a few canning lids. Uh, whether she intended to sell them or whether they had a small business and they were going to use them all, I have no idea. But she bought up every single canning lid in the store. So people will create shortages even if there is enough to go around. And uh, so the recommendation is prepare, prepare, prepare a little bit at a time now, starting now. Uh, even starting at the end of the last canning season if you found anything. Um, I know there was a shortage all the way around of everything last year, but towards the end, even in Canada, we, I found, stock, And uh, I did buy some extra canning lids. I have more than enough canning lids for my needs. I probably have all the jars I need. So I'm okay for this year. I'm perfectly fine. But uh, for somebody new, you should consider what your needs are. Now, what if you can't find jars? What are you going to do? you need a backup plan? Are you going to freeze? Are you going to dehydrate? Are you going to um, do some uh, dry storage? Are you going to, you know, uh, store some dry goods? And how are you going to do that? And what containers do you need for that? Um, I found even when I ran out of jars this last season, I used pint jars for all my spices, so I emptied out my spices and put them in something else temporarily and uh, used those pint jars and then when they became empty, the spices went back in them, but uh, I needed some for canning, so I did that. Uh, okay, another place, I guess, uh, unconventional places to find canning jars, and they're not so unconventional, but a lot of people don't think about that, is uh, one of them is thrift shops. And yes, last year I spent, uh, it was one of my hobbies, going to thrift shops uh, to, to kill some time and to find some interesting objects. And I probably purchased about uh, five, six, seven cases of canning jars at the thrift shops because they were priced right, and most of them were pints and quarts, but there were some jelly jars, and uh, so yes, the thrift shops are a good place to find uh, canning jars all the time. Uh, the uh, Another place where I have found them in the past was, uh, believe it or not, free for the taking. I found them on the lawn one time, um, and that, that was probably about 15, 20 um, not the quarts, but they were the quart and a half size jars. Awesome find. And big sign on, in a box full of jars, a couple of boxes of jars, a big sign saying free for the taking. Let me tell you, I slammed on the brakes, stopped, put them in the trunk of my car, and took them home and obviously scrubbed them real good. Um, another place that in the past, years ago, uh, I, that I got quite a few jars was at an auction. I went to an auction with my mother-in-law just for the fun of it. 
And there must have been, oh, 14, 15 cases of canning jars up for auction. And I was quite young, then, younger then, and I didn't really do a lot of canning. Um, but I bought those because I think I paid less than $20 for 14 cases. Took them home to my mother, and boy, was she thrilled. Uh, she used them all. But that is another place where you can look for canning jars and canning supplies. Um, maybe a little unconventional, but they can be found in unconventional places. And uh, yeah, hopefully this year there'll be enough supplies to go around for everyone. But as I say, people have a tendency to create shortages if they are afraid that they can't or won't be able to get enough product. So, um, <clears throat> that is my recommendation. Prepare now, buy a little bit at a time, have a backup plan in case you can't find the uh, storage containers that you need. Find another method or another way to preserve your food. Okay, well, that is my thought. Uh, we should prepare ahead of time. Just like we prepare in the fall for the next growing season, we should probably start preparing now for our next canning season. And when you plant your garden, decide what it is that you want to store. And anyway, I uh, really don't have much else to say at this point, so I hope that everyone has a, 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 an awesome canning season this year. And, and it's not just in the fall, it starts now, it's just that the fall is the big season and uh, we should prepare for it. And hopefully everyone has a very successful canning season this year and, and fills up the pantry to the limits. Anyway, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one.